is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous Pokemon Go video, and today's is a doozy because we are doing all 11 Sinnoh Stone Gen 4 Evolutions. You heard that right. Get the hype going. We're getting crazy. We are currently uh, on going into week two of the Christmas event and week three of PvP and all from PvP, I have gained 12 Sinnoh Stones in total. So we have more than enough to complete the decks in that part of it. And we already do have one of them already, which is Roserade. So technically there are gonna be two others that we're gonna be able to uh, evolve along with this. But before we get into that quick little uh, rewind, not too long ago, about three days ago it was or whatever, I finally caught my shiny snow run, my first shiny for this event, and uh, one that's a little bit uh, related to the event. It is a ice type, but it is from last year. There is no brand new this year event shinies that I have gotten yet, but we finally got our uh, snow run, so I'm excited about that. Unfortunately, it was not a female, but hey, little tiny, you know, baby snow run blue. Pretty cool, I really like it. So uh, one day we'll evolve that, uh, maybe. We, we still have till January 2nd to finish out this event, so I'm hoping maybe I'll get more, or uh, especially the other shinies. But other than that, we got a shiny plusle. That is my 11th. I don't need any more. Please, Niantic, invent a way for us to trade shinies for shinies we want. I don't know, but hey, you know, two shinies for the event so far. Uh, not the ones we want, though, so the hunt is still on for that part. But that's not what this video is about. So without making you thirst any longer, let's quench it. So to kick things off, we're gonna start first with my 100% Dusclops at 1546 CP. And then Dusknor uh, maxes out at 2388. So hopefully we can get pretty close to this. This isn't maxed out. He's very close to it. So we're gonna start off with this one, get a bang going, get some spooky, spoofy-ness uh, going on in here and some hundo percent going on in here because uh, we've got another one of those coming too. So super exciting. I don't need a lucky egg for this either. Even though we are in the double XP part of the event for the Christmas event, we don't need that for these new BAM registrations because we are already at level 40 and I'm not too worried about it. 23, 20, pretty close. We are only uh, 68, 62, 48 numbers. But uh, there's he, so uh, you know, looks pretty cool. Uh, the the shiny is only like just a barely a different color. I don't have that one yet, but uh, it has Astonish and Ominous Wind, which is not necessarily a the best move set, but it's a pretty good move set. So uh, I think I'll keep that for now. We may change it out eventually, but uh, let's move on to the next one. Next we have Gligar, which is going to evolve us a Gliscor. So he maxes out at 2692. We got 1205 here, so it's it's not going to get close to that, but we will see what we get. Let's use another Sinnoh Stone. Throw it at it. Super easy, because I got him to just throw. Every time, basically, that I uh, PvP somebody from far and I lose, I ended up getting a stone. Every time. Uh, there's only been twice where I got a stone from winning. So, most of these are like uh, uh, the loser trophies, <laughs> realistically. 1750, yeah, nowhere close. But, you know, he's pretty dope looking. Wing Attack and Night Slash is its worst moveset. So let's see if we can at least change Earthquake. Uh, that moves it up just like a couple. Let's see if we can get Night Slash. No. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. I'm not trying to waste all of them. Earthquake. Okay, well, that's better than the worst moveset. So we'll stick for that with that for now. But let's move on. He looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool. Okay, let's move on. 
Next up, we're gonna do our Porygon 2 into, we yeah, got Porygon Z, that's what we're moving on to. So we have 1541 here, Porygon Z maxes out at 3266, so uh, quite a jump there, because we are only at half of its uh, ability. So once again, throwing that Sinnoh stone at it, because I just have so many to throw around. <laughs> this little water duck thing. Uh, it's it's like that uh, water duck thing that just continually does this and dips into the water. And then you get that thing. Whoa, that was spastic. 1855, wow, we did not jump up very much. Whoa, <laughs> he's having his own party. But charge beam and solar beam, and that's its best move set. So, boom, perfect. Uh, we probably will end up powering this up eventually, but we're not doing any of that stuff right now. This guy's pretty good set right there. He'll be pretty good for um, uh, the uh, Ultra League. At some point, I will do a Gen 4 Evolutions uh, PvP video as well, so. Oh, he liked that. <laughs> He's insane. Wow, okay, moving on. Next, we have uh, another hundo, our Miss Drevis that we hatched. So, uh, super excited about this one because uh, Miss Magius is pretty decent in the metagame and especially in PvP, so super excited to do this one. Let's throw another Sinistone at it. We're at uh, 1100 CP and Miss Magius maxes out at 2615, so we could get pretty close to that. So, the infamous hat that everybody is wearing, well not everybody, but a majority of people are wearing. New registration. It's really pretty. 1494, nowhere close, but hey. Sucker Punch and Dark Pulse is its third best move, pun uh, move punch. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna punch out Dark Pulse and we want Shadow Ball, perfect. So now our 100% Miss Magius has, I'm not gonna worry about the name right now, has the best move set, so that's pretty dope. We are definitely gonna have to end up uh, maxing that one out completely uh, at some point, so very nice, very nice, very nice. Next, we're gonna fire things up here with, uh, we're gonna have to do two evolutions here, so we're jumping into it with our Magby into Magmar. We're all very familiar with those two. I still don't have the shiny Magby. Uh, out of the 7K eggs for this event, I don't have any new babies and any new shinies of them at all, so. We're gonna throw a Sinnoh Stone in this boy's direction and, and get ourselves the fire cannon blowing uh, Magmotor, Magmotar, however it's pronounced. Uh, he maxes out at 31, 32 CP, and we are looking for fire spin, fire punch, fire spin, fire blast. New registration. He's pretty big. 1785, oh wow, okay, that's really low. Fire Spin and Fire Blast, uh, that's a pretty good moveset, so I'm satisfied with that. We will keep him there. Finally glad to have that one in the decks because he's uh, he's pretty decent in the meta as well. And then I have uh, plenty of candies for when, not if, but when I do get my Shiny Magby, so. It's pretty intense. And with that, let's blast on to the next one. It's punny ways of going to the next. What can I say? We keep things fun here and we keep it light and flying and fairy-like and throwing a beautiful diamond and pearl stone at this beautiful uh, toga tick. Finally gonna get toga kiss. Finally. It's the infamous. Everybody has been waiting for this. Everybody wants that shiny Togo P, you get that Toga Tick. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting to finally get this Toga Kiss. It's so cute. 1890, it maxes out at 33.32, so we're nowhere close. We got a, uh, Air Slash and Ancient Power, and that is uh, one of its worst movesets. So charge TM this guy and hope for, that's third best. Come on, let's get that fairy move in there. 
Let's get Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam. Perfect. All right, so it's got Air Slash and Dazzling Gleam, which is its best move set. So at some point, again, we will have to max these out. But we're going to keep them where they're at. Uh, I'm going to play with them and use them in some PvP battles, see how they do, see which ones I want to uh, eventually max out. But for now, we've got this butte in the decks. I love how its wings look like cookies. That's a pretty weird noise. It's very uh, psychedelic and something. Moving on, we are going from our uh, pretty awesome hundos into a first Gen 4 shiny for this video. We already did our shiny rose raid when we hit level 40, so now we're gonna finally get our second shiny Gen 4 evolution. Haunch Crow here, who is uh, pretty dope, uh, ends up being uh, not one of the best, but a pretty good, pretty damn good uh, dark type attacker in the game with the correct moveset, of course. Hodgecrow maxes out at 2711, and we're looking for Snarl and Dark Pulse for that best moveset. Look at that purple bird. It looks really good. Both shiny and normal look really good in my opinion. Peck and Brave Bird. Second best moveset, it's not too bad, but uh, I want the dark and the dark. So we got our Snarl. And we got our Dark Pulse. That was easy peasy. So we got 1848. Look at that beaut. And uh, not the most beautiful noise. I don't like Honchkrow's noise. It's so... It's really concerning. I don't know. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> it doesn't. Now we're gonna be moving into your most meta relevant, the ones that you're really gonna want on your team, the most powerfuls. Uh, we got a right on here at 1808, throwing that Sinnoh Stone at it once again, and Rhyperior right, uh, maxes out at 3733. He is a beast, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, be excited to have him on your team because he's going to perform very well in multiple scenarios. We are looking for Smackdown and Stone Edge. Got that new registration. Can't even see his CP, 21, 25. So plenty of room to max him out. Smackdown and Surf. That is the same exact, uh, well, I don't know if it's the same exact, but Poke Girl got Surf for her right period as well. So, uh, no, we are changing that. And we got Stone Edge. So there we go. Uh, perfect move set for him. So he's gonna be an Annihilator. Poof, I kind of like his, like, poof, Iron Man kind of blowing out hands. And then orange is my personal favorite color, so I love all the orange. He just he just looks almost a little bit too close to a Digimon. So, uh, not my favorite, but he's definitely a beast. Beast! Next, we are moving on to Weavile, which maxes out at 3005 CP. We got 1168 here. Throwing that Sinnoh Stone at it. Uh, Weavile is a very good ice attacker at... Uh, but before Mammoth Swine uh, comes out, it will be one of the top ice attackers. Not the top, though. Wow. A little feist thing. I like his orange little jewel. Ice Shard and Focus Blast is his worst move set, so we need to get rid of both of those. Foul Play is what we want for the best, and we want faint attack. There we go, perfect, because he is, uh, dark moves are better for him in battle. So, perfect there, 98%, 17-12, he's got quite a ways to go up there, so. But we got our feisty little uh, weavile kitty there. Wow. And next, we're moving on to, uh, we already have one of them. Here is our beautiful 87% shiny Roserade, the very first one we did. But we do have a 98% lucky. Does have a very low CP, but still. 
Uh, it's going to make uh, for one, easier to power up, and two, into a beefy, beefy, because uh, if I remember correctly, Roserade turns out uh, before Venusaur, before majority of uh, Community Day move Pokemon, Roserade is top for grass type. Look at that beaut. 931, and you know what? It'll be perfect for uh, the Great League. So as long as I don't ever power it up past 1500 CP, it'll be pretty darn great. We got Razor Leaf, Dazzling Gleam, which is its worst move set. So we want Poison Jab and Sludge Bomb. Solar Beam and Razor Leaf is its second best move set, and I think we're gonna keep it with that, actually. That's perfectly fine. Ah, that's, that's exactly what I want. Razor Leaf and Solar Beam, Lucky, Roserade, 98%. It's a beaut, look at this thing. Ah. And I love its little drink at the end of it. That is so pretty. Ah. I'm surprised it's not a fairy type. But there we go, our second Roserade in our collection. Pretty awesome. And then last but not least, the uh, icing on the cake, the creme de la creme, the star on the top of everybody's Christmas tree for best, one of the best uh, attackers. He's pretty damn good. It's featured, it was the like main feature for the release of it. In my opinion, it was in both of the promotional pictures for it. So we got Electabuzz here going into Electivire, who maxes out at 379. It's not super huge or beasty, but it packs a punch. With that punch, we want Thundershock and Wild Charge. So, he's he's cute. He looks tough, but he also looks like he's super cuddly. He's pretty damn cute. He kind of looks, he almost kind of looks like a monkey. Yeah, he's pretty damn cute. I like it. He looks like, he looks like, like, like a big monkey, abominable, abominable, electo monkey. <laughs> I don't know. I want to hug him. I probably get electrocuted, but Thundershock or Wild Charge, that is its best move set, so he is packing that punch, yo. 91% uh, with that 1734. He is right after, right above uh, the Great League, so he will be perfect in the Ultra League uh, once we've powered him up a couple more times. But hey, yo, we have all 11 Gen 4 Evolutions right here. Bam. Look at those buttes. And then our Roserade all the way down here. And then, you know, the rest of the Gen 4s that will eventually come. We're also going to, for fun, do this 98% uh, uh, Murkrow, so that way I can have a pretty beefy and really strong uh, Hunchcrow because my uh, shiny Hunchcrow is only a 37%. It's not that beefy in percentage IV-wise, so we got this guy here. 1080, that's gonna be perfect for the Great League. So that's gonna be a killer, hopefully. Hopefully, Snarl and Brave Bird. We don't want Snarl and Brave Bird, we want. Psychic, that's better than Brave Bird. I'm only gonna do it one more time. Oof. No, I have to do it one more time. I can't have Brave Bird, that's a bad, bad move set. And it paid off Dark Pulse, perfect. There we go. Perfect for PVP in the Great League. And with that, we are done. We have spent our Sinnoh Stones. Uh, can't wait to do my other one. I do have a uh, Lucky Sneasel that was 600 CP higher than the original Sneasel that we did evolve here. So uh, that one will make a pretty beastly uh, Weavile as well. So once we get another Sinnoh Stone, we will do that. But we have our collection of our Gen 4 uh, evolutions there. This Drevious, got our Honchcrow, Roserade, and then our uh, the ones that are packing the majority of the heat there, the top three right there at the end. With that, that makes 10 brand new registrations because we already have the Roserade. So that's pretty awesome to do in one day. We haven't been able to do that in a very long time with the way that they've been releasing the Gen 4, uh, kind of making it to where you kind of only get about... Uh, maybe like six 
at most brand new registrations when they release a new batch of them so to do a whole uh, set like that that was fun I haven't done that in a long time it reminds me of the old days of like going crazy and putting on a lucky egg and doing like a bunch of your new registrations and a bunch of your uh, craft throwaway ones so that way you could uh, bunch up your XP so super fun nostalgic super exciting but this is where we're gonna wrap it up all 11 Gen 4 Sinnoh Stone Evolutions in one video. You gotta scroll down and give me that like. It literally has not been seen or done before. Crown it. So please scroll down, give me that like. Maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye.